wish I could bring you some good news, but I'm afraid I can't. In fact, it's one of those situations where it may well get worse before it gets any better. And this is a sneak preview of Monday's chart with yet another deep area of low pressure bringing some severe weather. In fact, it does look as if we could well have some disruption from heavy rain and gales starting later on Sunday and lasting into the beginning of next week. Already today, we've clocked up some large totals of rain, not far off an inch at Red Hill, down to the south of London. We've had the showers giving way to more general rain all the time. This has been swinging up across the country, had some cracks of thunder in London earlier on, and now that heavy rain has anchored itself through North Wales, Northern Ireland, and into Northern England. And that's the area where I think we're going to see some severe weather with some further heavy rain in the next few hours across into East Anglia as well. And that, unfortunately, as you've just seen on the news, is the worst place for it to be because that's where most of the severe flood warnings are and we do have some for parts of Wales as well. So we are going to find this band of heavy and possibly thundery rain working its way a little bit further northwards during the rest of the afternoon, eventually getting up into southern and southeastern parts of Scotland, not really clearing from Northern Ireland or Northern England, but the rest of the Midlands and the extreme southeast where it's still wet will brighten up, but even in this brighter weather in the south, it is going to be windy and there'll be a fair number of showers and some of those showers could still be quite heavy and thundery. Northern half of Scotland more or less staying out of trouble, just the odd shower there, otherwise bright with some sunshine. In the wet areas, a pretty cold feel to the afternoon, seven or eight degrees at best, a little bit better those temperatures in the south. We keep that heavy rain around, I'm afraid, right the way through this evening and through the night. In fact, showers or longer outbreaks of rain swinging southwards through the rest of England and Wales later on in the night and holding on in northeast England and spreading into the eastern part of Scotland. So that's the way it's going to look tonight with rain or showers scattered around virtually everywhere. Temperatures dipping back to about four degrees, somewhat milder around the coast. We start off still with that rain in northeast England and eastern Scotland tomorrow morning, quite windy with it. The rest of the country it's going to be a day of sunshine and showers and those northeastern parts still soon joining in I think. But again some of those showers, especially around the coast, could turn out to be quite heavy and thundery. A little bit of a respite when we move into Saturday, just some showers around, but they should be lighter and more scattered, although it's still going to be a chilly day, but then watch out for some more wet and windy weather sweeping across the country.